so the lead code problem we are going to solve now is called reverse integer now this one is an extremely popular lead code problem and also a medium one basically we are given a signed 32 bit integer x and we need to return x with its digits reverse so basically uh, let's say that if the given x value is 1 2 3 then we need to return x is equal to 3 2 1 uh, same way if we are given a negative number let's say x is equal to minus uh, 4 3 5 then once again we need to return as minus then 5 3 4 and uh, so on and so forth so this is the basically the whole problem statement now we are also given some condition where we the given number should not exceed the maximum range of a 32 bit integer uh, if that is the case then we need to return zero so let's try to understand that what is going to be the most common logic to solve this problem let's say that i tell you that we are given values 1 2 and 3 and i ask you to reverse it logically as a human what you are going to do you will first go to this number you will find the very last number and you would put that very last number into the front of this new x that we are trying to create and then eliminate this number from your site and once again repeat the same process and repeat the same process for all the remaining numbers so basically three would come over here two would come over here and one would come over here and this would be our answer that we are going to return this is exactly what we are going to do to solve this problem as well basically all we need to do is uh, just do the modulo by 10 operation for this given x value and at every instance we are going to uh, do the operation that x is going to be x divided by 10 and we are treating x as an integer value so this division by 10 would basically yield uh, that we are eliminating the very last element every given moment so let's see that what is the solution i'm proposing uh, if the given x is equal to 4 3 7 suppose like this okay then for first of all on this given x we are going to do x modulo by 10 operation so we are dividing it by 10 and finding the remainder so remainder in this case is going to be 7 so first of all in our new x we are going to add 7 as the very first value uh, so basically how we can add this value basically we will just do uh, like 10 to the power uh, 0 and 10 to the power 1 and so on and so forth uh, this is how you add digits and multiply by current value we have and add it to the existing value so it's very common uh, typically we do it with a small operation that we will see in the code so we would take this value in and we would put it over here after that we are going to run this operation x is equal to x divided by 10 so that would eliminate this uh, 7 from this existing number so after this once again we are going to repeat the same operation now this time the number remainder number is going to be 3 so once again we would append 3 over here and then remove 3 from this existing number and lastly we will have 4 so we will add 4 over here and once we have no characters left inside the x or the given value of x is less than uh, 10 basically we will just add that value and then get out of the loop also at the same time we will have to understand that at every given instance while adding or building this number are we going out of the bounds for the given integer value of the 32 bit number so for that the only thing we can do is just we can just compare whenever we build a new entry for x and if that entry exceeds the existing limit for the integer or 32 bit signed number then we will just simply um, return zero in this case so this is the whole solution and uh, typically this solution would work in the total number of given uh, numbers so basically let's say that we are currently given five numbers so one two three four five then the time complexity is going to be go of five because we will have to do it for every single character by character so this is actually going to be big o of logarithmic of x value where x is going to be the the type of system that we use to represent the numbers now since we are using 1 to 10 numbers so this is going to be a decibel system so simply we can say that this is going to be logarithm of, of x for the total number of given characters but overall this is a very simple straightforward solution and now let's quickly see the coding solution so first of all we are going to initialize a new variable called reverse there where we are going to store the answer and then we are going to run our loop that while the given x is not equal to zero we will first extract the last digit and that is by doing the modulo operation and then we would simply divide the current number of x by 10 and because it's an integer so we would just remove the very last character 
now we simply need to check the overflow condition before we start updating the reverse uh, functionality so we are only checking that if this given reverse value is already greater than the integer by max value by 10 or if that is not the case and if the pop is greater than this value then we can simply return zero otherwise uh, we also need to check for underflow case the same operation in the reverse order that if we are going out of bounds in the minimum value case if either of this is the case we can return zero if that is not the case we simply add that value uh, and update the existing reverse number by multiplying the current reverse number with 10 plus adding the pop value or the last value we added and we can simply return the reverse value so let's try to run the scenario okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code runs beautifully beats nearly 82 percent of all the other solutions which is pretty good so once again the coding solution is present in our github repository feel free to go and check it out from there thank you